A lot of people start doing embroidery because they want to make something with their hands and they want a relaxing activity to do. But once you've finished your stitching, what do you do with it? Today, I'm going to share five different things that you can do with your embroidery. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So when you're finished your stitching, what are you gonna do with it? The first thing they can do with it is probably the most obvious. You can frame it to display it as art. Now there are different ways that you can frame it. Some people like to frame their things right in the hoop, either in the hoop they use to stitch it or in another hoop that's specifically chosen to be the frame. And this is a fun option, but you can be even fancier. You can frame things in actual frames. So it's fun to look for um, unusual and different frames at thrift stores or in discount stores, or you can even take your pieces and get them professionally framed. So there's a lot of different options in terms of framing, but no matter how you frame it, it is a really nice way to display your embroidery as art. Once you have many embroidery pieces hanging on your walls, you might be trying to think of other ideas of ways that you can use your embroidery. So another really nice embroidery, especially with small items, is to put them into greeting cards. So this is something that somebody would treasure if they got it from you. And you can either get custom cards that are specifically designed for putting embroidery in, or you can get any blank card and cut a hole in it the size that you want, put your embroidery in, and then back it with a matching or contrasting paper. And so that is a really nice option as well. Another thing you can do, you can take your embroidery and you could make a pillow with it. Now you could either take your embroidery, put it back on and stuff it, or you could use it to make a pillow cover. And this is nice because it'll be um, easy to take it off to wash, or if you wanna change things out throughout the season, you don't need to have a full pillow for each thing. Now you can make throw pillows of whatever size you want, or you can make tiny pillows and call it a pin cushion. This is another fun way to use embroidery. If you do other sewing, you can always use your embroidery pieces in that other sewing. So sometimes I like to use embroidered pieces in quilts. So I can either cut out my embroidered piece and use that um, in the piecing as a piece of the quilt, or I could cut it out and applique it onto another project. And then the fifth idea is you can use embroidery to embellish bags, and especially tote bags, grocery bags, it's fun to have that little personal touch. So you could either embroider right onto the bag, or you could take your embroidery that you've already done and just attach that and make it as a pocket on your bag. This will make your bag really fun to use and it's really personal. So it's nice if it's for yourself or as a gift for somebody else. So there's even other things that you can do with your embroidery, but I hope that these five ideas will help get you started. For more embroidery tutorials and inspiration, be sure to check out ebitastudio.com.